Mommy, tell me of the story when you did your crazy story a long time in the car. Hi, Isabella, my lovely daughter. My name is Sandy, and I want to tell a story when I was a kid. I, your grandfather took us as a family, my two brothers and I, to the Dominican Republic on vacation. We arrived in the Dominican Republic, which is in the Caribbean. It's southeast of Cuba, by the way. And we decided that we wanted to go visit your grandmother's home where she was born up in the mountains. So we took a bus there, even though it's a very remote location, um, that's why we couldn't drive, so we took a bus, like a special bus. Wow. So when we got to a certain point, we had to get off the bus because there was no more road. So in order for us to get up to the mountain where your grandmother was born, we had to ride mules and horses for three miles. So we packed our luggage on the mules and got on horses and went up to the house for three miles. And we got there and it was really beautiful, but there's no running water or electricity. So waters come from the rivers and we use candlelight for electricity. So it was kind of scary at the beginning because it was really dark at night, but, but it was fun because. So mom, it was like scary and fun by the time? But at the same time, yes. Because we were there with family and some cousins and it was really interesting to see where, where your grandmother was born. But then the weather started to get bad and we heard there was a hurricane coming. We heard it through the radio, like a battery radio that we had. And so the hurricane was hitting and so we decided that we couldn't leave. It was too dangerous for us to leave. So we had to stay there while the hurricane hit. And it was really scary because it was really windy and there was no power and we kept hearing tree branches snap and anyway the hurricane lasted about Did it sound like did it sound like scary things like little monsters? Yeah, like lots of not monsters, but like winds and rain. Yeah. And so it lasted like two days, the hurricane. So on um, the on that night, the last night of the hurricane, we woke up really early in the morning and we saw all the devastation. All the bridges that we had crossed to get there were apparently destroyed by the rivers. Exactly. So we could not leave yet. We had to wait to figure out a way to get back to the city. So we finally decided that on the third day that it was time that it would be safe for us to try and get back to the city. So we got on mules and donkeys and packed all our things. And we had to ride the donkeys and horses and mules. You didn't tell me there were donkeys. There were donkeys too, actually. I forgot to tell you that. But there was a lot of people like guiding us and trying to help us did, get through. Did the donkey blow away? No, no, the donkeys and the mules were safe in a barn. They didn't blow away. They were safe. Yeah. So when we got to the first river, it had been destroyed by the to the first bridge. I'm sorry, it was destroyed by the river. So we had to cross the river, and that was really scary. But I was little, so. My dad let me stay on the horse and, and the adults walked through and the kids stayed on the horses. It took us, we had to ride the horses and donkeys for like five or six miles, I remember, before we got to where we can take the bus back to the city. It was quite the adventure. And when we got to the city, we were very happy that we were all safe. And alive. And alive. And we have plenty of food and water with us, so that was really nice. Now, Mom, but that's, that was one of my most memorable childhood experiences. 